Hi everyone, it's Sam McKay here from Enterprise DNA. So today I just wanna show you, or I wanna deep dive into how you can create quarter on quarter sales or quarter on quarter anything. So how to compare one, uh, one quarter's results to another quarter. And then also how to keep it dynamic, how you can utilize the data model to be able to discover the differential or or showcase the um, the difference in the two uh, by selecting anything in your model, you know, any, selecting any dimension and be able to dynamically dive into it. So this is an example from a, uh, a recent workshop um, that, uh, that I ran um, by way of an, the Enterprise DNA webinar series. So I'll put a link below to the full um, to the full workshop went into a variety of different uh, t uh, tips and techniques into Power BI. Uh, one of those was quarter on quarter sales, but I'm gonna break it out here and I'm gonna show you how you can just um, just calculate quarter on quarter um, calculations. Now, what we're really looking at here is in the top left of this report. So we're, we're trying to analyze you know, how have our sales gone on any one quarter, no matter what quarter we select, and I wanna compare it to a, a prior period, right? So. I've dressed it up here. I've made the visualization look look really good. I always recommend this because you know you want your you want your reports to look really uh, really of really high quality. You know someone's going to want to uh, come in and have a look at this report time and time again because it just looks great, right? And so you know um, certainly a big recommendation of mine is to you know take a lot of the tips um, that I utilize in these uh, in these reports and a lot of the reports I make available um, and and try and implement them in, in your own models. Now. Quarter on quarter sales. So let's uh, let's just run through the formula. I've already uh, created them, so I'm not going to um, recreate them here for you. But what we can do, right, is we can. I'll just set it up here. I'm going to grab my date uh, field and I'm going to turn this into a filter. And then I'm going to uh, grab the date column and turn it into a table. I'll just get rid of the hierarchy there. Okay, so now. If we want to just calculate, say, total sales, that's easy, right? That's really easy. Or total, total anything, total quantity, total profits, total costs, or um, whatever. It can be um, be total clients, etc. But th those are what I term core calculations, and they're the really easy ones, right? There's just a like sums, there's just your simple aggregations, your simple iterations. Well, in this case, I'm just going to drag in total sales here. Now, the what we need to do if we want to if we want to compare on a quarter to quarter basis, right? Well, we need to use time intelligence, and that and that's the key thing. Here. We need to understand and implement time intelligence calcs. Now, many of you are aware that my favorite uh, time intelligence calculation is this date add function. So I highly recommend getting your head around how to use date add inside of calculate. So you see in this formula here, all we have to do is reference the initial core calc, our total sales, and use date add to jump back into any period. And so we wanna do quarter on quarter sales, right? Well, all we have to do inside of date add is specify, okay, jump back one quarter. And why this is my favorite time intelligence calc is because look, look at all the variability that you can actually put inside this formula. And so in this case, we're just gonna look at quarter, right? So I'm going to um, just write uh, this formula um, and then I'm going to go OK or I'm going to press in, push enter and then now if I drag this into the table you'll see that now we're getting a comparison of total sales for any particular day because total sales is um, calculating um, in the current context because there's no calculator or anything like that right so um, so in this case we're, we're actually calculating this particular day but sales last uh, LQ or last quarter is calculating this this day but it's calculating exactly one quarter ago so basically three months ago to the day right now what's so great about this <clears throat> this calc or these calcs that we create is how reusable they are and that's the that's the power of the data model i was mentioning so what i can do is i can copy and paste this table and then i can go and grab say my quarter and year i can drag it into this table and now we're actually getting the true quarter on quarter calculations. And the time span or the window that we're looking at is being determined by this filter that we've got in place here. So we can drill into any um, grouping of quarters, right? And see our total sales versus our sales last quarter. 
And then if we wanted to, and that's what I, um, I did during the workshop, is we could actually work out what the change is. And you know, you can see an absolute quarter on quarter sales change just like that, right? And so all I've done in this formula is I've gone total sales minus that that uh, that time intelligence calcor or or that calculation we created um, using date add. All I've all I've done is I've subtracted that from our initial uh, core calculation, which was total sales, and then that's given me the absolute quarter on quarter sales change. And so hopefully just by this example, you know, you can see there's lots, there's so many different ways that you could you could utilize the, these techniques, right? I mean, we've I, I've focused in I've, uh, on quarter on quarter here, but you could, I mean, you could do month on month, you could do year on year. It's all a very similar uh, technique. So so something certainly um, to get your head around uh, as, 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 you know, as quickly as possible. I mean, if you're just starting out in Power BI, this is a really good one um, to get you going. Um, you know to understand how uh, context works, how um, you know measure branching works. This is a technique I like to uh, talk about a lot. Um, you know how you can utilize time intelligence calc. So this is just lots of different ways that you can utilize this. And then when you implement them well, you know you can you can you can ultimately create uh, visualizations or or Power BI reports that you know look look compelling and, and showcase really good insight, um, like uh, like this example here. Okay, so I'm going to round things off. Hopefully, you know, you, you um, can implement some of these techniques. Um, I'll put a, a link down to the uh, uh, to the the virtual uh, workshop uh, where I ran through many other techniques. Um, certainly, check that out. Um, it's uh, ran ran for about 45 minutes or so. Um, lots of uh, lots of really um, advanced techniques that uh, that that I'm, I'm confident you can get to. So so certainly, just check that one out. And um, and uh, yeah, all the best with this one. Um, if you like the content, certainly throw us a like and uh, on the video, really, really appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe to Enterprise DNA TV as well. Lots of good content coming out on Power BI. Um, and so, so I want uh, you to get your hands on that as soon as it's released. Okay, all the best. Take care. Cheers.